Let's just say that The Sims 4 High School Year's expansion pack and the two updates caused a lot of games to break. Bugs and glitches are coming over tons of games, with many simmers demanding that the bugs be fixed ASAP. But today, I do want to offer up some causes of these bugs, from weird base game issues to broken CC and mods and some poor gameplay design decisions. Hopefully one of these fixes or workarounds will get you back to enjoying The Sims 4 High School Year's or just Sims 4 in general. Before we get into a series of glitches, bugs, and fixes, I'm Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, pack reviews, guides, a series of investigation videos, and much more. And my question for you today is to challenge yourself to say something that you like about the new expansion pack, something about The Sims in general, or any Sims game. So disclaimers, of course, this will not address every single bug or glitch, it's just not simply possible. I'm just trying to help with the most common ones I could find. These are solutions posed by Sims Help Forums, and hopefully one of them will work for you. Now, there will be workarounds, and there will also be direct fixes, so stay tuned. There will be timestamps if you don't want to listen to me rattle on, and you want to find a specific solution for your problem. So this is a bug that I actually saw happen with the infamous My Wedding Stories, and perhaps in other packs as well, and that's not being able to see Copperdale. So this is very common. You go up to your residential world and you can't see it at all. Maybe you can't see any worlds at all and you certainly can't move into them. So the most common reason for this is an outdated tool mod. So you want to make sure you update that tool mod and you also want to clear your cache and test it in a new save. A lot of times people will take the mod out and they don't clear their cache and then they can still experience some of these problems with broken mods in CC if they don't take that extra step. Personally, I would also repair your game. Now, three common issues that do definitely have to do with mods are doors missing, UI issues, and also Sims not being able to eat. So the doors missing is funny. Definitely my boyfriend has actually had this even with just CC doors. So I would add if you have CC doors, definitely be aware of that as well. But for some reason, the base mental mod also can cause this issue. For any UI issues, basically any mod that changes your UI could be a culprit. So UI cheats and build or build by are probably the most common. As for Sims not eating, a CC item can cause interaction issues. Again, this isn't the only reason, but these are the most easy solutions. So if you have any of these mods and any of these issues, definitely check them out, definitely update them, and remember to clear your cache and repair your game. Now, unfortunately, the prom and graduation issues is from poor game design, and this is something that I think The Sims team really does need to fix. There is, however, a workaround that is working for a lot of people. So in summary, if there's a Get Famous talent showcase at the same time as prom, prom doesn't happen at all. Both events show in the calendar and you get invited, but it doesn't happen. So you're going to actually have to go ahead and cancel any events on the day of prom. I think this is really dumb. I think this needs to be fixed, but it is a workaround. You can also even go ahead and disable the Get Famous pack altogether. Also, as an important notice though, apparently MC Command Center can cause some issues with both prom and graduation, so definitely check that out. Unfortunately, I didn't see a firm solution for the graduation issues because, again, I think this is a genuine bug that The Sims team needs to fix. Some people say graduation will only happen when you age your teen up. However, I just watched another review by the good old LGR, and honestly, he wasn't able to attend graduation either. So that's a genuine issue that I don't have a big workaround for, but for prom, cancel those Get Famous events. Now this is yet another problem that is probably not caused by mods or CC, and that's being stuck on a certain performance level. So this person said they found a workaround. Send the team to school alone when they're almost maxed out in the performance bar. It will treat it like a normal day and they should go up to the next grade level by the end of the school day. This is a bug, if it is a bug, that I personally can very much relate to and that's never being invited to parties. However, it doesn't really sound like it's a big bug, it sounds like it might be left up to chance. Someone said they just had to play a crap ton of Sims days, 30 plus Sims weeks, which sounds really ridiculous, in order to get invited to parties. So again, unfortunately, there's not a big solution to this and I think this should be brought up to the team if it is impacting a lot of people where they're never getting invited to parties. Now this is probably a bug that I saw maybe the most frequently in my comment section. I had no clue what was going on because I didn't have this issue, but not being able to follow your team to school. So this is a solution that is just general and very helpful if you don't know what to do. So you should try a new game with nothing added back first, start a complete fresh shave, and if this does work, then you need to go through and follow these steps. So you definitely can just pause the video right here, I'm not going to read through all of them, 
But basically, I think what sometimes happens is some of our saves get corrupted, especially with mods, especially with CC, and also especially with longer saves. So again, just go ahead and freeze this if you do have this issue. Not being able to sit on bed. Now this, again, is just a gameplay design issue. People are saying that if you can't sit on bed, a lot of times it's just because you're not clicking quite high enough. So you want to look for the pillows on the bed and usually Sims will be able to sit on the bed after that. By now, hopefully you know about this, but a lot of people are having tons of trouble changing colors in cast. This actually is not caused by the team whatsoever. It seems to be linked to the more cast columns mod. So this did break, so definitely check that out. In general, a lot of the UI mods are causing lots of people issues. So if you can get this fixed, you should be able to have swatches back in your game. Now this is another one you're probably gonna have to screenshot here because this is about if you're having trouble with your game saving. I've seen so many people say that they're losing progress with their game, it's not saving at all, and it's reverting back to the week. And honestly, I had no clue what to tell them. So there are different symptoms you can see at the top here and also things you can try. Of course, removing all mods completely from the game, including the folder is very important, deleting that local cache file, and there's also some tools for resetting your saves. So I definitely recommend always keeping backups because when you have backups, at least you have security knowing you're not going to lose something that might be important to you. So definitely take a look at this. Again, freeze the video if you need to, but I think this is really helpful advice. And last but not least, there's the issue of not having your teens study. Now, honestly, when teens are teens, maybe they don't want to study. But if you seriously don't even have that as an option, chances are there is a problem. This is actually just the exact same advice that was for the previous bugs but it is to factory reset essentially. So you can go through, look at this. Again, it has to do with corrupted save files. However, I, the reason I'm covering this as well is because there are some mods that can cause this as well. One popular one is the Education Bundle Mods from Kwai Stacy. So if you do have the Educational Bundle Mods from Kwai Stacy, remove those and try that first before you go through this reset. So I really do hope this video helped. I know it wasn't the most entertaining or amusing videos, but I just hate seeing people struggle so much with their games. I know I'm going to get comments that say, oh, but I have issues that aren't related to that. I don't have any mods or CC. But as we can see, it's complex because there's a lot of reasons why people are getting all these bugs and glitches. So I do hope that the team fixes the issues that they are responsible for. And I really hope that anyone that does have outdated mods or CCs that are causing these issues We'll go ahead and remove those and update those. Again, that isn't to say that there aren't any quality assurance issues. Clearly, there were some that were not related to broken mods or CC. So I just wanted to help, and I really want to see people back to enjoying their games. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Hope this was helpful. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.